I'm going to break this video up into shorter parts so it's more digestible and um, easier to follow. People don't have time to watch 30 and 40 minute videos and then try to catch up where they were or worry about them uploading. Um, I'm going to start like I suppose they would have at the quarry, getting the flint and then breaking it up into uh, usable pieces and um, early stage bifaces using a large hammer stone. It can also be chert. This is Burlington, but some of this Georgetown, if the cortex is smooth, uh, makes really good hammer stones also. Um, quick way to do it is to um, break them up. They, they're ledgy and there's some seams, so work the natural seams out through tapping. Create these steep angles like this by trimming and then striking high enough margin to get flakes to peel off. And it seems like they're going to be they're going to be doing less working of these balls they probably focused more on the best chert and just taking these things and but since I don't have that much flint I'm going to be doing more uh, closed projectiles around these large spalls which they did too but I don't see as much evidence for it in this cache so let's start I'm wearing a glove because I'm a, if I hold the leather underneath there it'll just be obstructed let me back off oops This is a pretty fun part, actually. Let's see. Fill in frame. So I'm going to look for a place to start making my angle first. Make sure I don't have any cracks. Doesn't seem like I do. Better back this. Now, gear in frame, and I'll find a spot to get into it. It's already broken off here. I've got some width, so I think I'll just take part of this corner off. A little. Turn it over and look and see what kind of angle I have. Pretty ideal, actually. Small point. Now when I move next door, there's this little seam here, so I'm going to go ahead and create an even plane. Get rid of the junk. Make sure there's not a crack that's going to mess me up. At the same time, try to keep my angle going. And then strike it high margin. That flake is a little thin, but... There's probably a smaller point in there. So we're going to trim our cortex off. Work around the back here. Try to create that uh, steep angle right here in the corner so I can turn it over. And uh, There's a risk at this point of the flake diving and cutting the length off. So I'm going to do a little trimmer on the tip. In case that flake goes further, it doesn't dive through and make it short. So a little ridge flake. That's pretty worthless because it's mostly cortex, but come back here and make that a little bit steeper. I'm holding it pretty loose in the hand. I'm bracing it just enough with the thumb to keep it from moving and then giving it a good clip. It was mostly cortex, so I didn't get much off there. Let's try to do a little trimming because we got tons of width. Move on up. Okay, I don't know how many more I'm gonna be able to get. Maybe we'll just do one more here. If we can sneak in. Feels like it's about right. Okay, this is gonna be a good one. It's probably not another point in that, but okay now. That's about the stage where we can start punching.